What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Mail Ticket Podcast. I'm your host, Grace Henderson. I'm here co-hosting with Rudy Jackson. We see hey. Rudy, Rudy Jackson. Rudy. And we got a couple of special guests today. I'd like to welcome Lainey and Char. And then what do you guys do briefly? Like, if you want to just give a brief description. We do everything. Our main thing right now is which camera should I look at? <laughs> just um and actually when you're when you're talking just that looks okay, okay that's cool. um our main thing is black on the block which is like a monthly pop-up festival with over 100 black owned businesses um we do it every month and it's like a huge kind of block party vibes it's a very special experience um so that's our main thing and then i also have a clothing line it's called cozier it's a loungewear brand and she also has a clothing line too i do have a clothing line it's called upstreet kid and um i also do costume design and styling Fire. Yes. So got some entrepreneurs in the building. I love yes, to see, see it. it. I, was, I was about to, you know, go into asking you about your clothing line. I'm glad you said that first. So I was about to say cozy. Oh, okay. I was about to say cozy. No, she always like, it's cozy. I, <laughs> I'm like, all right. It started off as cozy. And then my friend was like, is it cozy? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. that sounds yeah, more it is actually, actually, I like that. Way better. That like, sounds absolutely. more luck. Like, you really say it like that. You got to put your pinky up. Like, mm-hmm. It's French. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I stalked both of y'all brand pages and let me say like your pages are fire first of all the aesthetic the work Thank you guys you. put into like the photos the just like thinking of your aesthetics for each drop yep. is crazy yep. like Thank you. y'all are dope very big on that I'll yeah especially Lainey. yeah Lainey is like huge on branding yeah. um i just kind of like go with what looks good but Lainey like does like graphic design fire all types of stuff so yeah her branding especially for black of the block has been like really recognized like people like I think they, yeah, I feel like they appreciate that the most. Like, they come up to us like, oh, it's really the branding is the branding. We're like, okay. I guess this is appreciated. (laughs) Can you guys briefly, like, just describe, so Black on the Block, what was your intention behind creating that? Yeah, so I actually did, um, with my clothing line, I did a pop-up, like, back in February of 2021. Mm -hmm. And I was the only Black-owned business there, and I was like, there's no one else here. Like I'm the only black owned business. Um, where is everybody at? Mm-hmm. So I came home and I was like telling Shara, I was like, I would love to do like a big black owned version of this, like a black owned pop-up market. Um, and she was all for it. You know, and yeah. we were like, we're just going to do it on Fire. 18th and <laughs> it's going to be lit. Cause we didn't want it to be like an average kind of flea market. We wanted mm-hmm. it to be really high quality curated market. Mm-hmm. So it's not a flea market. It's really like, we call it a pop-up market cause it's their own brands. Like each, each um, Established. vendor has their yeah. own brand. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, we're just we're really big on the quality, making sure that, you know, it's it's something that we would buy ourselves kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So we really curate the market, but it's also block party vibes. It's fun. We've got food, DJs, music, all of that, just to make it like a really special experience. Yeah. Bye. When we first started, um, it was supposed to be just like a one time mm-hmm. thing, maybe an annual thing. But the first one was so successful that everyone was like, oh, you guys should do this monthly. We're like, well, OK. Yeah, and that's how it grew from there. That's dope. How do you guys choose brands for it? Like, do they submit to you or is there like a link on your it's so profile? hard? <laughs> it's actually, we have to go through like, so we can only choose like 130 vendors and we usually get like 400 to 500 submissions. Mm. And so we really like spend the day just like going through all of them. And it's so, it's getting harder and harder because like at this point, it's like almost everybody is good. Yeah. And we even have to say no to like our favorite people. And it's just like, dang. It's, yeah. so, it's like the worst part about it actually yeah. is choosing because we have like a vendor application. We drop it every month. Like oh, even okay. if you're a returning vendor, you still have to reapply. Mm. No one's safe because <laughs> <laughs> only because we'd like to switch it up and like give new businesses an opportunity. Right. So that's what sucks about it actually is like even like ones that have been with us since day one, like sometimes we have to say no to them and it's like really awkward because it's not like they did anything wrong. It's just, we want to get some new businesses in there. Right. Right. So yeah, we try to find different ways to like help out other businesses aside from the market. We've been focusing that on this year too, but that's definitely the hardest part is like going through vendor applications. That's so dope. So you guys are sisters, correct? Yes. <laughs> and it's like working together. Yeah. Is it, is it, you know, how is that? As being, you know, yeah. Um, it's family, not that so bad because different. Lainey is like such a leader. Oh <laughs> so she, kind of, and <laughs> she just bad. knows how to delegate and knows how to, um, you know, get the, get the tasks done versus me. Cause she's, she has the nine to five uh, type structure. of structure mm, okay. versus me. I'm more of like a creative. So I'm okay. like, I'm more of like the hands-on person that does like all the the things day of and all that type of stuff. But Lainey's more organized in terms of like answering emails <laughs> and yeah. uh, talking to people. I'm not the best at talking to people. So it's like a good balance. Yeah. She definitely helps with like the 
getting the market out there mm -hmm. versus I'm doing like the administrative tasks. So it's like, we have like two different positions that mm -hmm. we, that we do. And then now we hired an assistant. So I'm like less stressed, but <laughs> oh, <dope. laughs> yeah. Okay. And so you guys just like balance each other out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We actually it's, haven't fought yet like yeah, no. on, over this at all. But it's funny because our whole life we've been like that with any task, like yeah. what she's good at, I'm not good at, but what I'm That's good so at, dope. she's yeah. <laughs> so it's like, we have a, about you guys, like you're yeah. very similar, but you're very opposite at the same time. Yeah. Yes. I feel like that works well in any situation right because sure. if we both like we're good at the same things and bad at the same things it's like not you be helpful be yeah you <laughs> <laughs> asking she wants like, her drink <laughs> you like keep messing when i ask <laughs> y'all can do a quick cheers <laughs> yes, you know what i'm saying cheers, cheers, cheers to the podcast cheers, cheers to your business it. ventures yes. all of that um as far as black on the block do you guys plan on expanding to oh, like yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. What's your, like, do, can you share? Like, yeah, so we, um, I just want to make sure that this is cool. <laughs> we, um, this year, we want to at least hit one new city, um, hopefully, like, two, if we can make it. But our goal is to take it to different cities, because people ask a lot, like, can you bring this to Atlanta? Can you bring this to D.C.? Mm -hmm. So we definitely want to, like, take it to as many cities as we can and, like, tour it. Mm -hmm. Um, also, like, make it more of a festival, festival, like, do performances, like, just make it this huge thing versus multi day, just, like, maybe, like, yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah multi day would be dope. Um, we really want to start doing like even expo level, like, panels, like, Fire. workshops, like, really just expand Black on the Block because it's such a versatile name, like, it mm -hmm. doesn't just need to be a market, like, it can be a whole, yeah, it's an umbrella. umbrella term, yeah, mm -hmm. for other things, into, like, anything, no, yeah, for literally, sure. yeah. yeah. So luckily we like chose a good name that's like, you know, we can not limited. Like yeah. It could be that's like dope. a Coachella level. Literally. Exactly. You know we're, like, we're like thinking like, oh, complex con with the expo situation. No, but that, like, that'd yeah. be dope. Mm -hmm. that's that's a black I mean. complex con. That's fire. <laughs> I think okay. it's a, a perfect balance between the music and the mm -hmm. vendors, like and the food. You yes. know what I mean? Like all three of those equally incorporated would yep. be. Because that's all, that's what they love. All you need for a good party <laughs> is good music, good Go drinks, food. and good food. Yeah. <laughs> that's People it. Come. And if you that's can bad. shop at the same time. Exactly. It's a great. Hell yeah. Shop like, actual though. things that you want. <laughs> like, right. sometimes I have problems. Like, I go through the vendors. I'm like, dang, I want something from everybody. Mm -hmm. I end up spending, like, $500. Bro, <laughs> it's first, too much. My first two times, like, working at y'all thing, like, I, I was like, okay, I'm going to have a nice little vibe today, work at this thing, sell some stuff. Mm -hmm. I walked around, like, twice and spent, like, it was $300. It's I'm like, they don't, and they make it so easy because it's like, oh, just scan. And it's like, all right, scan yeah, $10 here, $10, $20. I'm like, damn, I, I, I tally up everything at the end. I'm like, dang, why? But they I have everything. I realized, like, oh, I did some lashes. I might as well grab mom here. Oh, I want a tattoo. I got this lashes. tattoo right here. I right. Got it. We got these tattoos. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. No, we got, got two gems. Yeah, two, I got the tooth gems there. Yeah. They got free teeth whitening. Yo, I'm mad I missed this you shit. Had no, hey, it's I every was... month. It's every month. So if you miss one, just come next month. I ain't going to lie. I was asleep, but you know, I'm going to be at the next one for sure. You're gonna have the best time. I'm there. People Appreciate. don't want to leave, especially when they get like, because we have like seven bars. Mm. So people start getting like, by, I think I always say the beginning is like very family friendly. Family, people yeah, bring their eye. kids. Mm. And like when 5, 5 30 hits, it's like that's when people will be. Drink it all. Oh, like, yeah. I they were <laughs> lit. I <laughs> try to force party. myself to not drink until like 3 30. Right. Or four, right. So that it doesn't like get too extreme by the end. <laughs> no, so, I've right. had time. Like, there was one time where I literally was like incoherent by the end. And I was like, <laughs> I, 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 was, like I was like, cannot do this again. <laughs> now, I, so now I have a pace that I, I have. I'm, Definitely narrowed it down. I know to, past like four two. I'm like, well, if I need to ask them anything, they're probably not gonna write like, yeah. right mine like, after that point in time. Out. So definitely <laughs> checked out. Once one o'clock hits, I'm like, all right, <laughs> don't ask me anything. But yeah, like it, I feel like it's been easily expanding. You guys haven't had to try to expand. It's just yeah. been going crazy. Like you yeah, guys um, had an interview on what CBS, yeah. and then what did you guys do yesterday? Another oh yeah, it was Amazon Music. It was really dope. It was like a live podcast. Nice. It was like, yeah, live, super live. But it was it was super live. <laughs> it was really <laughs> it was really cool like baby tape performed we got to talk to her like it Fine. was we've been getting a lot of like press now which is like as you should that yeah. whole concept is just dope mm -hmm. like yeah. i don't know why and it's, it's been really content. organic luckily like we haven't had to like you know pay anybody to like reach out like it's just been the whole thing has been just very organic that right. was always our issue in the beginning was like oh we need pr we need pr and yeah. i was just like you know what it's probably gonna come naturally coming, the bigger yeah. that it go goes because we're like should we hire somebody like should we send out emails, just like show them our deck? But it was like, people always want to sleep until mm -hmm. they see it like being built on its own. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, and then they come to you at that point. Yeah. How do you guys feel about um, other people who are doing the same type of thing as you guys? Tea. <laughs> <laughs> I, we're all for it. Like we love when people do other markets because the whole point of this is to like kind of start a movement mm -hmm. of like just helping black owned businesses and 
Um, that's really the point. We're not like, you know, oh, she started a market. Like, blah, blah, blah. Right. We did have beef one time just because this market, <laughs> I'm going to tell it, because this market, <laughs> Talk your shit. I'm not going to hear it. <laughs> but this market, like, copied our exact branding. I like, don't know. Did it on the same day as us, same, at the same, or same weekend as us on the, at the same location. That location was not doing pop ups before. I was like, that location was known for like black on the block. So mm. they kind of like took advantage of that. Mm. That was the only time we were like, you could. Right. And they did theirs two days before ours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and same, timing, the same, logo. same yeah. like black with the same logo. It Man, was, <laughs> not even trying to hide it. it right. Was it was like, cool. It was, yeah. So, you know. yeah. So it was very blatant. And it, it was, a, we were just going to ignore it, but it was annoying because people were asking us like, oh, do you guys change the day? Like, uh, yeah. People it was, confusing. yeah, they were going to confuse. Yeah. So that's like taking away from your business. Yeah. yeah. Versus the other ones is like, yeah, there's a million white uh flea markets and stuff like that's, that so like yeah it's not like not it's white. not like it's not like we have to be like the only black one like we yeah. like that there's other ones yeah that was my also i feel like what you guys try to um you said it's not a flea market and i feel like that's important to note like mm-hmm. people think maybe it's like a um melrose trade post vibe yeah, which right. melrose trade post does have some but that's yeah. more it's like vibe. thrifting <laughs> yeah. you know, exactly. while yours is all you know like original stuff yeah. that yes. they that they created high-end brands that are, Next. you know, good products, not already pre-owned. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not a, but that whole concept you guys have is dope, though, because it's like Black on the Block is your guys' brand, essentially, right? right? And then you're putting on other people's brands. So, like, yeah. it's just going to, it's bound to be successful because yeah, what? I know. Everybody wants to win. And, and, situation. and they're so grateful by the end. Like, we've had... Um, vendors crying to us Aww. at the end like hugging us like Aww. oh thank you so much like i made twice my rent today like oh there's like people, money yeah they, they're <laughs> getting fine. money for some people a lot of people sell out of their stuff so it's just like yeah that it's very like happy. fulfilling oh, yeah that's really the best part is like we just want to make them happy like because the vendors are what the bread and butter of the yeah. whole thing mm-hmm. right so when they're happy like that's that's all we need. And that can be life changing for them because you mm-hmm. guys have all types of people coming. Like, yeah. Yeah. Chance the Rapper pulled up. Yeah. You guys right. have Omari on. Like, mm-hmm. you know. It's and, so and, nice. and, <laughs> it was so nice. I was like, where are you? And uh, all fine. types of who knows who coming by. Yeah. And it's like, this this candle company could have a rich ass person come and say, this is the best candles I've ever right. seen. I want to invest a million dollars. You never know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's some girl that has like a tea company. She was like, somebody like wanted to invest in her tea company. She mm-hmm. was like, yeah, I made a lot of. I made a lot of money today and some people even who have who even just do like one they're like market, yeah. because they get so many customers from that one market they're like i tripled my my customer base just off doing one market that's what right. it's crazy yeah, yeah so i was like, like wow. when chance came like he literally went to every single booth we have over oh. 100 vendors mm-hmm. he went to every single one and bought something oh and he that's was so there, fire. He was the last person there we were like chances <laughs> like they were like, we were like it's over <laughs> they were wrapping up and like he was still that's alive. real though yeah, yeah. yeah. emails was trying to get me to give him you know a package of our merch uh-huh. and was like yeah like we want to give him some free stuff i'm saying we're standing out there waiting waiting <laughs> waiting i'm like is he still here like what yes, is he doing he was still there. finally yeah. at the very very end he comes out all these bags yep. Aww. Yeah. it was so cool that is like, literally so cute yeah and i saw him wearing a few of the stuff mm-hmm. from the thing i was like oh so you actually like it's not like you just bought it like he actually was like using wearing it and wearing them that's so dope yeah um and then i know you guys have collaborate collaborated with afrofunk in miami afro-funk, yeah how did that collab happen and like how did that go yeah um so we have a partner her name is his name is yusuf and um so he is the festival director for afropunk and mm. they he actually didn't even put us onto it like they came to him and was like hey aren't you a part of this like block of the block thing like what is this and he was like oh i didn't even guys i didn't even know you guys even knew about it so he had told them like what it is mm. and they have a market already at their uh festivals but they were, i guess saw our page it was like you guys do it better than us like can we work in some way and we're like yep duh yeah, <laughs> obviously right. we can like we yeah. will do we will help um do your market and you know make give it a little black of a black touch yeah and right. that's basically how that happened yeah we're mm-hmm. just we're curating their current market so like we're just kind of we're the in charge of like picking the vendors for their market and doing all the decorations and stuff like that that's like our our uh position yeah. for afropunk so. okay dope yeah that's fine and i i know you guys have worked on a couple sets like um mm-hmm. with quavo and you know mm-hmm. uh, a couple other artists how was that like do what do you guys do for that you style on the, so, so i do the makeup and she does the styling, styling yeah. fire so it's oh, also like a heat. sister yeah <laughs> not that ass you guys this is on set. A perfect yep. balance like <laughs> that's why it's like every part of our even like with sports like tennis yeah. like when she, she's good at forehands i'm good at backhands that's like it's so like dope. Yeah, yeah it's just yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. like that. I thought y'all were twins at first. Everyone always thinks we're twins. I love he thought that when you guys walked in, I was like, mm. yeah. It's only when we have like similar hairstyles. So if I have, I usually wear my hair curly, and like people don't even think we're related at that point. Uh, yeah. It's like really she, crazy. She has a bro. 
Um, yeah. But yeah, we um, we when we do work on stuff, we don't do it much anymore. Mm-hmm. We, we kind of like we, we can yeah. It's like our last one was Google, which was really dope, and it was oh, actually for black owned businesses. So yeah, it was like it all. We actually had one of our vendors there that was mm-hmm. in the commercial. Like which it, one? Her story. So um, oh, yeah, oh, it, was really <laughs> yeah it, was, it, it was really dope. Yeah, it's it's fun. Like I I started as like a YouTuber and like a makeup girl. Okay, that's what's my story. Okay, yes. and so I it was really cool to be on set and like working. You know, because I wasn't like a. I didn't because that shit came naturally. Makeup. Yeah, like yeah, I learned. It's funny because like, when she started her YouTube, she didn't tell the family for like two years. That's another. She story. was just like locking herself <laughs> I, in the room. I'm, I was like, I'm why does she have so much I, makeup? Yo, I ain't even gonna lie. So like, I just recently started YouTube in like the past year, mm-hmm. like and, like building my shit, whatever. But I was going through my like old camera roll, my old iCloud mm-hmm. shit yesterday, uh-huh. and like I've been filming <laughs> videos. Like yeah. I had shit like me doing like little makeup tutorials yes. when I was like a freshman in high school, oh. still in my camera roll. I was watching them yesterday. I was like, I'm made for this shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's but funny not. watching the, her old videos because I'm in them too. But like we, we start, were I started so when I was like 16, so we, like, like children. Yep. And I was I'm like, wow, we don't even look like that anymore. I love that though <laughs> that you guys were able to like build off your creativity and yeah. like keep that going and turned it into what you have turned it into is yep. crazy. Yep. We're back to have to go do something important. Don't what you doing, What really? you doing, Rudy? You just finna leave me. I'm no, away. I'm weak. <laughs> oh, okay. So you was, um, you actually were a makeup artist for Lil Uzi, to be Red, and... Oh, yeah, the... Uh, yeah, oh, I did the, this, the video, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I was okay. like, did I do their makeup? <laughs> I did their makeup, but I did the video, yes. Okay, that was okay. actually my favorite one I've done so far because okay. usually... Um, on set, they always want just like bronze glam, like natural glam, mm. like not really creative looks. You just get over it because you're like doing the same brown smoky eye every time. But this <laughs> set, they were like, go crazy, do color. Do It was literally the oh, first time I ever got to do color. And yeah. I was like, they gave had, you like creative freedom. Yep. They're like, just make it all colorful and fun. And I had um, Alan with me, who was like my assistant. He's he's amazing at makeup, too. And he just did this like crazy look and we just built off of each other but that was that was like my favorite set it was yeah that was, fun. Set. that was fun that's yeah. so dope so every set you guys work together no she actually usually works more than me yeah um she does because she does a lot of styling so i okay. just be like i'll do it when i feel like it but yeah she's, she's like, more like i do like i feel but i've yeah. been this year i've been more like that too like being very picky about the ones because we're so like engulfed in black on the block it's like yeah. if i'm doing a set it gotta be like a set Really worth it. Really worth doing, yeah. Mm-hmm. As this before, I was like, yeah, I was doing like four sets a week, like not she sleeping. Was exhausted. <laughs> Dang, yeah, so it was a lot. Work, no, that was crazy. like that was like the main my main focus versus it not being my main focus right now. Wardrobe is a whole other. I'd be I tried to do it one time. I was like, never again. Like it's so <laughs> that's how you just stressful. show up yeah. when you wake up and you do it. Yeah. That you gotta shop, you gotta return, mm. you gotta make things fit, you gotta. Like, uh, it's yeah. like a multi day thing, and yeah, you gotta work with their budget too, huh? Mm-hmm. And they always want the world and everything. I'm like, mm. how am I going on to a y'all small ass budget? What the hell is that? Y'all need to do a little bit better right. than that. What are you oh, she back. Oh, what's in the bag? I love the game. So yeah, <laughs> are you guys allergic to anything? No. Are you vegan? No. <laughs> Just highly lactose intolerant. <laughs> she might, I don't know if she brought her lactate. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to be fine. <laughs> you Damn, so everywhere. you can't eat like ice cream or anything? I, like I do. She, oh, she definitely does, but she has to <laughs> have lactate. a lactate oh, closely damn. behind. Literally, I have Got boxes you. and boxes of lactate. Anyway, that's TMI. I know. <laughs> I don't know. Just so you guys know that it does work. Yeah, exactly. They should give you a sponsorship. I, I would like it injected into my veins. Like, I would really just, like, inject me with lactate because that's oh, no. every day. Okay, so we're going to have you guys. One of you will be blindfolded, and the other one is going to be able to pick a food from this bag. Okay. And then the blindfolded one's going to have to guess what food are they eating. Oh, All right. God. Should I be the blindfolded one? Or do you want to be the blindfolded one? I'll be the blindfolded, I guess. Okay. Whichever. You guys can switch, too, and then I will do both. I just wrap it around. Is that see? No, I can't see shit. Well, somebody do a test. Oh, I got a tire. Yo, how many fingers am I holding that? She's gonna lie if she can't. See. I literally can't see. <laughs> All right. Promise you. I trust her. She seems like a very, you know, straightforward Honest. person. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. very. Oh, lady. One thing about Lainey, she's very straightforward. <laughs> right. I love that. What's your oh, guys, like, that's oh, why like. you guys are. That's why you guys are good business people, though, mm-hmm. because we What's love. What's your guys' signs? I'm a Taurus. I'm a Leo. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's an interesting dynamic. Yeah. Okay, here's your magical bag. To oh, yes. From. Let's see what there is in here. Try to pick something she wouldn't know what it is. And something I like. No, not necessarily. 
know what's in there. You know what I, mean? I don't like this chuckling going on. Show the, show the camera. I already feel drunk from that mimosa. <laughs> I don't think you're going to like this, Elena. Why would you do that? Don't tell her. <laughs> it's a surprise. So I just eat it and, ju- and guess what it is. Yeah. Okay. I would just take a bite. We of need this. flavor. <laughs> we need flavor, a description, and, and okay. item, whatever it is. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Just take a oh <laughs> just take a bite. Bite it. Just take bite a bite. Getting pickle. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of pickle? It is a pickle. Oh she does not like pickles. Uh, I like pickle. Is it a, <laughs> is it a dill pickle? <laughs> it's. It's a hot and spicy pickle, so I'm surprised. <laughs> she she does oh not like God, spicy pickles. Oh my worst nightmare! <laughs> oh no, we got her with the hot hottie bites. Should we used to have them switch my foods and have her do it? Yeah. Better. Well, there's a bunch of foods in there. So Are you eating it? it? <laughs> <laughs> I love so munchy. I'm not eating. I hear chewing. <laughs> okay, wait. So she can do two, and you can do two. Yeah, yeah do two. Give me another one. Give me like some. Because now I know it's in here, so out. maybe you, we should just oh, do shit, you because I know true. it's in here. Not Rudy. Really All right, I'll give you something. Y'all that. like pickles? That's crazy. Actually, pickles aren't bad. I just never had a hot one. I hate them especially on sandwiches because it just makes it soggy. Like I don't like. You gotta eat it right away. You can't. Yeah, so nasty. Okay. This is something you probably like. Don't tell her. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's good. It's a wafer. What yeah. kind? Mm. What's the taste? Am I getting strawberry? <laughs> strawberry? No. Okay, I'm not. Not at <laughs> Vanilla? Mm? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, this vanilla. Vanilla? Very nice. This is great. This yeah. is a great like- palate cleanser. Yeah, I like this. Char's just snacking on everything at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so I want more of those. Yeah. Okay, do another one. I guess you're the guesser because that was like here, like you can't even see. <laughs> oh, the teeth. I didn't even know that. That's crazy. That was a lot. Well, mm, I don't know if you want them. Should we do another one or no? Yeah, you got you got to do that one for sure. This is my lunch. <laughs> Pickles and wafer. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be such a random. You could probably tell by the smell of this one. <laughs> I can't smell yet. You want to put the whole thing in her mouth? What? <laughs> Tony, yeah. Is she that I talented? Was pick- <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you would pick that one. Just <laughs> chomp on this one. You just got to chomp. You just got to open your mouth. Quickly. Don't sniff, just chomp it. Chomp. <laughs> what is it? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Is this a Slim Jim? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I've never had a Slim Jim in my life. So and how I, do you know what the taste like? Because I can I, smell. I can tell that it's like that meat. That yeah. Is it good? Because I've never had a Slim it's Jim. It's actually either. not bad. Oh. It's actually, yeah. Let me it's taste actually it. really good. <laughs> you might become a Slim Jim fanatic after this. Like, I always looked at them and was like, that looks disgusting, but I never tried it. So, it was always a smell that, that got me off. But these are good. I like yeah, these. Yeah, just <laughs> like, like sausage. Okay. Well, I found some new snacks. I tried so something like, new today. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. I found some new snacks that I'm into. Okay. Okay. Are you done or you right. done? Yeah, I think we're done. All right. Mm. Well, good job. You're, you're a good. good sport. All right, Sace, so you can take off the blindfold. You ain't got to wait. And no more. No. Even though you don't like pickles. <laughs> wow. Uh, eat them. Just fried them. Just fried them. All right. So every episode we add in like a like, current event, you know, mm. just like stuff that's happening right now we want to talk about really briefly. So, um, you guys know, like, Kanye um, and, like, his whole IG just got suspended. You know what I'm saying? It got suspended? It did. I did like, today? That. A few days ago. Oh, yeah. oh, oh dang. But I thought it was only supposed to be for one day. No? I don't know if it was. I don't know. He, he might have got it back now, but it got suspended. Dang, but, I didn't even notice. Yeah, um, do you feel like that was a good move? Like, or... <laughs> I mean, I don't think they had to suspend his account, but... I mean, he was. He was going crazy. I don't think he... He's such a complex person. Like, I just don't get it. Like, I I get the whole freedom of speech, whatever, but it's like, Mm. you're a grown man. You don't got to put all that online. But then it's like, I feel like he has a motive for putting it all online. So Mm. it's like, what is it? It's like such a back and forth. Yeah, that's that's what I'm a little... I like have, why? Why is it the online? <laughs> Does have he have a, to have his every thought and feeling? A feel strong like? theory that everything that happens within the Kardashians and who they, who, yeah, and mm-hmm. who they talk to, everything that's, that's posted mine. is oh, marketing. Is marketing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even if it's like 
I, I think they think, you know, all, all publicity is good publicity. Like, mm-hmm. whoever it is, I always notice that. Like, okay, mm-hmm. something happens with Kim. She comes out with like, skins. Something yeah. happens right. with Chloe. Oh, even if it's a cheating divorce, whatever. Oh, Some. well, I'm going to come back from this and come out with my new jeans. And everyone's yeah. Right. Like, or, you know, Kanye coming out. Or the out new with show. Something. They have their new show yeah, coming out on Hulu. Yeah. However, they may, however mm-hmm. they may market it. What their relationships are behind the scenes, we have no idea, really. Unless you see it with the people in LA, we can see it with our eyes. Right. But what is presented is what they want to be. I always wonder about that, though, because, like, how some of the things that come out about them or the things that they say, I'm just like, how are you comfortable? Like, I get that it's giving you press, but, like, how are you okay (laughs) with that? I don't know. It's just Mm. like, because it's not like they need press. Like, they're like the most famous family in the world. Like, they don't, like, need to do these type of things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Make sure everyone's looking at us for this. Yeah. Right. Like, you like, have to have a lot of balls to be okay with people thinking like that you, I don't know. I guess they don't care what people think, but like, it's just the stuff that comes out about them. It's like, you have to have a lot of balls to be okay with that. Yeah. Right. On yeah. purpose. What do you think about like, like Kanye has been saying a lot of stuff about how Pete has gone to rehab a lot of times mm-hmm. and he has a lot of history of drug problems and stuff mm-hmm. and he doesn't want him around his kids. And although Kanye, you know, is, has some mental health problems of his own. Do you think that's a reasonable thing for him to be worried about or he's just being petty? I mean, it's probably a mixture of both. Like, I think that his delivery is petty. But like, if he, I mean, as a father, people have like those concerns all the time, like yeah. even just even normal people. So, I mean, it's valid for him to have these concerns. But the way that he goes about it is extremely petty. His like, delivery on everything. Like, he doesn't yeah. have to post every text that he gets from him. He doesn't have to like, you know, do all that, that type of stuff. But yeah, it's interesting because like so many like, you know, baby mama, baby daddy situations. It's like every day. Like people go through right. that all the time and right. even worse. Like they right. just do the craziest things. And it's just the fact that it's publicized. It's it's so normal that there's these kinds of things happens, but it's the fact that it's Kim and Kanye. It's like, we're seeing it all. But I just wouldn't and it's put like that, multiple posts today. Yeah, I just put that online, <laughs> but he's a different type of person. So, uh, but I think it's valid that he's, any, you know, dad is like wary of who's around their kids. Like, I think yeah, that's just so, sure. that's a normal thing. I think he'd be like that with anybody. Like, even mm. if they didn't have, you know, drug issues, like mm-hmm. he'd find something wrong with them. I'm sure, I'm sure he would. <laughs> so it's just, you know, being a protective dad, I think is, I think that's valid. Mm. Yeah. My favorite thing is that he calls him Skeet. Oh, like, yeah. oh, <laughs> hey, the Skeet. <laughs> He's like, hey, yo, yo, the Skeet. That's why I can't take it serious. I'm like, are you mad or not? Because you have nicknames for the band. Like, I don't know. Yeah, nicknames are crazy. <laughs> and also, like he got Kim tatted on his chest. That, I think, is absolutely it, Branded. He got who does? Yeah, like, Pete, what? Pizza's? Oh. Got a hair name Branded, not oh, tattooed. Wow. Branded. Branded. Oh. On his chest. Where, how did I not see this? <laughs> there was a whole, because she did an interview with Ellen about it. She was like laughing. Nobody was laughing about it. Like, yeah, Ellen even true. was like, that's really weird. <laughs> yeah, what? She couldn't even like do her face. Like, she was like so, like, like, you could tell she was really disappointed. <laughs> she was like, that's like, not cute. I don't know how I missed that. I <laughs> feel like, like I see everything on Twitter. Under a rock. I know, because I'm know, like, cause I'm, like it, I'm usually like very caught up, like, uh, especially on Twitter. Like, I see everything on Twitter. I'm surprised I didn't see that. That's crazy. It's a brand. No, and I go on his IG like almost daily. I follow him. So I was like, uh, yeah, that's crazy. I didn't know he got suspended. Yeah. Yeah. I actually literally, I had an interview with Kanye West one time. Okay. We'll get into it real quick. Because I was supposed to work for Yeezy. I can't say much because I signed an NDA, but I can say what, like, you know. But it was so crazy because I had a one-on-one interview with him, like just at a table. And I was supposed to, like, I had gone through all of these, like, rounds of interviews. Literally, Adidas chose me to be the Period. person I was going to work That's in. Dope. I was, like, talking to my friends. I'm about to be the content editor for Yeezy. <laughs> they were, like, Fire. literally the day this morning, I was walking into work because my job didn't know at the time that I was, like, interviewing in other places. <laughs> and I was stepping into work, and they emailed me, and they're, like, hey, um... You basically have the job, but the last step is to meet with Kanye. He just wants to meet whoever's going to be in the position. It's not an interview, right. nothing. You're just meeting him. I was like that. I called out sick for work as I was literally walking in. I was like, <laughs> I need to go home. I went um, to Melrose and bought a pair of Yeezys for $500. <laughs> oh, she had to the part. I yeah. was like, I'm going to make this back. Yes. I'm going to be working at Yeezy. <laughs> right. It's nothing. It was a lot for me at the time. It, it's a lot anyway to, just to pay that for shoes. Right. But so I go to the interview. Long story short, he had no idea what the interview was for. <laughs> he was oh. like, what is this? What is a content manager? Like <laughs> all this stuff. No, I was no, Long story short, I did not get the position. Oh, wow. <laughs> they just got rid of the position altogether. The position. They were like, he was like, I don't understand this i was like okay <laughs> so 
Damn. <laughs> it was traumatizing. <laughs> I know. I'm like, her for you. Like, what the hell? That's, that's like the same experience with Kanye. That's brain yeah. crushing. So yeah. I just don't get him. That's just my thing. I just don't get him. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, him he's like a person. true creative. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just goes with the wind of whatever he feels, I feel like. No, for sure. All right, y'all. I'm gonna just thank you guys for being on the podcast. You guys are dope, and like, I wish you the best in all your creative endeavors in the future. I mean, do you guys have any last words you want to say to the people before we tap out? Yeah, come out to Black on the Block. It's every month. It's usually like the third or fourth Sunday. Um, We have like a whole schedule on our Instagram. It's Black X the Block. Mm -hmm. Um, Everyone's welcome just to come and support these Black owned businesses and have a great time doing it. Yeah. Next one is March 27th from one to eight p.m. And it is located at Wisdom in, D- in downtown LA. Yes. And if they want to shop your brands, what's your handles? Yeah. yeah. And mine's at Shop Cozier or Cozier. It's spelled like Cozier, but whatever. <laughs> and mine is Upstreet Kid. Fine. And yeah, that's way it. easier to say. We <laughs> also have a meal ticket booth at Black on the Block. Yes, they do. Month, and you can come shop our merch. You can come network with our team for opportunities to become um, an actor or a model, get books for jobs with us. So definitely pull up on us as well. If you yeah. And one thing Mill Ticket does is that he does it. <laughs> Mill Ticket <laughs> Mill does, does did it. The damn thing. That's a fact. He, he gonna get you booked. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. All right, y'all. On that note, we're gonna end this podcast episode. Make sure y'all turn on your post notifications, tap into our next episodes. We have bangers on the way. Stay tuned. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next episode. Bye. Bye. Peace. Thank you guys so much. Y'all are-